Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Cliff Ward from the Aeronex Vlogs. At ang video natin today is all about hacking. Posible nga ba na kumita ng pera ng dolyar sa pangahack? Before ko sagutin ang tanong na yan, I would like to ask you to kindly subscribe to my channel para maging updated ka sa mga future related videos ko about dito. So, to answer the question, Posible nga ba na kumita tayo ng pera sa pangahak? Ang short na sagot, yes. There is a way po, there is what we call ethical hacking. So, yung main na pag-uusapan natin for today is about bug bounty. Para sa iyo siguro, bago siguro sa iyong pandinig ang bug bounty. So, I will discuss it a more detailed, but for now, bug bounty sa real world mayroong bug bounty. For example, uh, let's take the anime na yung kay Luffy. Diba si Luffy, there's a bounty on his head. Hindi ko alam kung magkano. Mag so, there's a bounty on his head at kung sino man ang makadakip kay Luffy, whether dead or alive, ay bibigyan ng gobyerno ng pera in return na madakip mo si Luffy. But in this case, we are talking about bugs or vulnerabilities. When I say bugs, those are vulnerabilities or kamalian. Bugs sa isang application or sa isang website. Okay, in a sense, kung meron kang makitang bug sa isang kumpanya, for example, let's say Facebook, if you found a bug that has a security impact or has a privacy na impact sa users or sa site mismo, you can report it to Facebook. Tapos kung ma-validate ng Facebook at malaman nila na it is valid, it is not duplicate, you are the first person to report it, ay pwede ka nilang rewardan ng pera in return. So you can check more about Facebook's bug bounty program that is facebook.com slash white hat. Doon makikita mo. I'll try to discuss it more later. But that's the initial concept of the bug bounty or ng bug bounty program. This is some kind of, pwede sabihin natin, branch ng ethical hacking ang bug bounty program. Okay, that's it. So, naintindihan mo na. Alam mo na kung ano yung bug bounty. Why am I sharing this now? Kasi I've been a bug bounty hunter myself for the past 6 years. Starting late 2013, 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, until this year, 2020. Although hindi na ako masyadong active today, we started for less than 50 Pinoy na bug hunters sa Pilipinas. What I mean sa less than 50 is that dito sa bug bounty scene sa Pilipinas, yung tinutukoy ko yung mga naghahanap ng bug sa mga websites and web applications. Shout out kay Sir Roy Castillo, yung mga pioneer talaga, Roy Castillo, J. Torla. Sila yung talagang unang nakikita ko na nagpa-participate. Roy Castillo, yung nag ng Facebook dati. So, yan, shout out sa kanila. So, why I'm sharing this is that I wanted to introduce to you that there is this bug bounty na there is this certain na topic na hindi alam ng karamihan eh. Hindi tulad ng, for example, let, let's say India, na parang halos alam na ng karamihan doon na there's this bug bounty na pwede kang kumita ng pera if you are just interested kahit wala kang technical na background. So yun. Another question is that ano ba ang mga prerequisites or what do I need to know? Ano bang mga kailangan? Kailangan ba akong nakapagtapos ng pag-aaral bilang isang IT? And the answer is that no po. Hindi po kailangan na you have graduated bilang isang IT or even related to the IT field, information technology in the field. Kahit uh, hindi ka man graduate ng even elementary, hindi ka man graduate ng elementary, but you are passionate in this field, you are interested na matuto, and you just abide of the policy of that program, pwede ka po na mag-join and mag-participate dito sa tinatawag nating bug bounty. So, when I say a program that is managed by the company, for example, Facebook, tatawagin natin to in the, through the video na bug bounty program. When I say program, that is the bug bounty policy ng isang kumpanya. So, first, there's no technical background na kailangan. Although, along the way naman, you will learn eh. Every day, you will learn something. So, if you wanna learn more, magre-research ka. So, as for me, hindi kailangan ng technical background. You just need the heart and the persistence na you will learn this certain topic. Tapos along the way, malalaman mo din the fundamentals of how the web works. 
paano ba na process ng browser ang isang website pag nag-input ka ng for example uh, youtube.com slash c slash eronx vlogs ano bang nangyayari in the background bakit na display yung website di ba? so it's the browser trying to display the markup which is its html so if you're not familiar yun sa so web development it's basically that's the parang framework or the skeleton of that web page pasensya na if you are watching this as an absolute beginner uh, maybe in the future videos we'll try to discuss that but this video will be all about an introduction an intro and an eye-opener that this bug bounty exists na merong ganitong scene in the information technology in the field as I've mentioned earlier uh, you don't need to have technical background you don't need to have certifications kung interesado ka and you're willing to learn and you are willing to invest your time para matuto then go you, you can do it kaya mong gawin yan sa pagtatry mo if you have any questions you can try to reach me out sa facebook that is facebook.com slash mrtrizeron or I will put the link over here yun so, you actually, alam mo na, alam mo na yung concept, that's what's going on. Let's go to how to actually start sa bug bounty. So, this, this is the biggest question, to how to actually start. So, first off, you need to learn a bug. Dapat mong matutunan ang kahit isang vulnerability lang for now. When I say bug, that's a vulnerability or kamalian ng isang application or ng isang website. Although bug bounty is not limited to web applications lang, pwedeng hardware or basta marami. It, it has a larger scope but yung pinaka common talaga is web application. As I've mentioned earlier, if you want to start, first you need to learn a bug. For me, kung tatanungin mo ako, ano nga ba yung bug na maisasuggest ko as a beginner, absolute beginner? Siguro, posible mga logical bugs. I can share you one bug na sa Facebook. This is a bug in Facebook group na nirewardan ang isang indiano for $5,000. This is very simple but talagang naisip ng indiano agad. Ganito, ang setup, di ba? We, we have Facebook group. A Facebook group has administrator and you have this group members na available. This group member can abuse the functionality of blocking someone. Ibablock niya ngayon yung admin. Pagkatapos, yung admin I think I need a whiteboard next time. Yung admin, hindi na niya kayang i-remove yung member doon sa group. Kasi blinak na siya ng member. This was a bug, I think, way back 2014 or 2015. That's a simple bug, logical bug na, oh nga no, if you try to block that admin, hindi ka na makikik ng admin kasi hindi ka niya nakikita eh. But currently, uh, makikita ka sa list ng members doon, pero without the profile picture, wala kang profile doon. Pero fix na yung bug na yun and as I've mentioned, 5,000 yung na-reward sa Indiano. That's a lot of money kung i-compare natin. And also, as I want to highlight, we are in the pandemic today and I want to encourage everyone na interested in this topic let's say straight to the point na lang if you are interested with hacking although uh, it's debatable if you are interested with hacking try this try mo mag bug bounty there's the possibility na kumita tayo although oops oops muna <laughs> uh, stop muna of course money should not be your motivation na para mag bug bounty it could be personally for me that's part of my motivation para kumita ng pera because I, I am a father of two I need to feed my family I need to provide what they need simula in the past but for me yung motivation nyo at first should be the eagerness to learn something ganun tapos pwedeng isabay nyo yung motivation na magkaroon ng pera in return di ba? so that's it nga pala if you are interested uh, I just wanna give some facts yung Pinoy na as far as I know na may pinakamalaking nakuhang bounty in a single bag lang is kay Japs Divino. You can search him on Facebook. He got, I think, 15,000 USD or 16 or 17,000 USD for a single bag sa isang program. That's approximately around 700,000 in one bag. Nakuha na yun around December 2016 or something. 2016, 2017. Thumbs up, shout out, ganun kay Sir Japs Divino. Yun. Sorry, I haven't uh, discussed really Kung ako, personally, ang ma-advise ko na bug is IDOR or yung IDOR, Insecure Direct Object Reference. 
that's a simple bag that could range from very simple to some kind of complicated depending sa how the application works or how the website works. But basically, for example, ang iDoor works like banking website. Ang banking website ay merong address. Yung, yung account mo is bank.com slash id equals to 1. So, ikaw yung user na number 1. At makikita, pag ni-browse mo yung user number 1, makikita mo yung balance mo doon. 1 million dollars. So, ang iDoor, kasi hindi niya chinecheck yung correct object, pag ni-set mo as number 2, makikita mo din yung data nung number 2 na account o na profile doon sa bank. So, that's an issue. That's an iDoor. Although, as I've mentioned, there could be complicated iDoors na depending on your creativity ay makita mo. So, as for me, again, iDoor and then you can jump on to some other bugs like XSS or Crossed Script Team makapag-execute ng bug na pwede kang mag-upgrade yung knowledge mo. Just try to learn something every day because along the way, you will learn something talaga. So, yeah. So, you've already learned a bug. Now, you need to pick a platform. You can use a platform. When you say a platform, para siyang mall. For example, di ba, a mall has may mga stalls. Pwedeng mag-umupa yung mga companies para mag-display sa mall. Just like the concept of that mall, ganun din ang platform. Ang mga company like Western Union, Mastercard, Yahoo, Twitter, gumagamit sila ng platform. So, we have two famous na platform currently worldwide which is Bugcrowd which is the company I'm working for. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Bugcrowd but shout out to my manager Sir Jay Torla and my co-workers sa Pilipinas, uh, Jmart and Naps. So, Bugcrowd and HackerOne. And we have also a platform the first and only sa Pilipinas which is Sikuna. So, let us just focus on those two na worldwide Bugcrowd and HackerOne. So, Bugcrowd and dun yung mga company like like Mastercard, Western Union. If you want to find a bug in Mastercard, you want to report there and you want to read their policy or program terms, you can go to, try to link it here, bugcrowd.com slash Mastercard or kung Western Union, bugcrowd.com slash Western Union. Almost all companies sa buong mundo na malalaki, meron silang mga bug bounty programs. Although some of those are not really bug bounty programs but are vulnerability disclosure programs. The difference between the two is that the bug bounty program is a paying program. Pag nag-participate ka sa bug bounty program, nagre-reward sila ng pera. Sa VDP vulnerability disclosure program or responsible disclosure program, wala silang binibigay na pera. But they could give out t-shirts in return. So that's the difference between the two. Now, you gotta pick a program na doon sa platform. Yun na nga, as I mentioned, for example, Mastercard, nakuha mo, kailangan mo basahin yung policies nila doon sa Mastercard. Intindihin mo, as long as you follow their terms and services and policies, terms and conditions, you are good to go. And of course, you should be 18 years old and above. Or if not, siguro need mo ng consent ng inyong parents. And you should be living in a country that is not sanctioned. Country like uh, Cuba. If you are living in a country like Cuba, hindi ka pwedeng uh, mag-participate. So that's it. You already pick a program. Now, you can start finding a bug. Kasi alam mo na mag maghanap eh. When you find a bug, you try to send a report. Doon ka sa sinabi ko na link, doon mo pwedeng i-report yung bug na yun. Again, as I've mentioned, I will be discussing more of this topic. If you have questions throughout the video, just comment down below because I will try to answer it or any bug bounty related question in general, please comment down below in my YouTube channel and I will try to answer that in my next videos. So another tips on how to actually get started is that to read articles, to read write-ups. No? Kailangan mong magbasa to understand things. Manood ng mga videos like videos ni Live Overflow sa YouTube. Sino pa ba? Ah, si Stoke, mga Cyber Mentor, si Ben ng HackerOne, yung Sir Michael Codingo. Yeah, there are a lot of people that you can follow in YouTube and also you can follow them on Twitter para mas updated ka sa mga information security related na mga happenings. So through this, you will gain more information day by day. And for 
me, finally, is get started. Yun na nga, you've learned a lot. You've learned how to find a bug. You've learned how to submit and everything. Just be persistent. Yun lang talaga. You need to be persistent. There are times na you try to hunt, you try to look for bugs, pero wala kang makita. Ah, kahit ako, there are nights, countless nights, na I try to look for bugs, pero wala eh. <laughs> Zero. Kaya you just need to be persistent because makakahanap ka rin. You will find something that is valuable to the company and that company will give you reward in return. Also, I also have this tip. Huwag mong isipin, for example, ang isang program, marami ng mga security researcher. By the way, ang tawag pala sa mga nagpa-participate sa bug bounty ay mga bug hunter or slash security researcher or slash hacker. Okay? Kung meron ka mang nakita mo doon na mga top hackers like mga Today is New or mga Franz Rosen, mga Mlitzfield, baka, uy, grabe naman to. Andito na sila. Siguro ubos na yung bug. Kasi, kahit ngayon nga, nafe-feel ko ganun eh. But, that's not true. Every one of us has unique approach kung paano maghanap ng bugs. So, you just try to look for a bug. Sooner or later, you will find one and that will be your first bug. Just don't give up. Just be patient. If you are passionate about this stuff, about these things, and you want to learn something more, you can try googling. Mag-google ka. Uh, how to start bug bounties. Ganon. If you're gonna ask me of what tool yung ginagamit ko for hunting, yung gamit talaga, usually, is you need to have a uh, intercepting proxy. So, you can check on yung mga calls, HTTP request, para makita mo. Pwede mong paglaruan. So, I'd say, Burps Suit, they have this community version na free lang, and they also have the pro version na siguro, 399 USD. So, medyo mahal, but if you can't afford it now, you can use the community version. Pwede ka naman mag-intercept using that community version. Also, I'd like to mention, you shouldn't be using cracked versions of those software. Don't use crack as I don't tolerate using crack softwares. So, yun na nga. Again, for the last time, if you have any questions, just comment down below. And if you like this video, I would like to kindly ask you to subscribe on my channel and I will make more of this topic in the future. Okay, so that's it. If you know someone na maging interested at interestado siya na usibling kumita ng pera through bug bounties or through hacking. Yung title natin is A Little Click Bite but yeah, totoo naman. It's, it's true that you can earn money through hacking, ethical hacking in. When you say ethical hacking, that's the legal way sa panghahack. Again, this is Clifford from The Aeronix Vlogs. Thank you for watching. Peace. Peace. Ayaw ba na kayo ng rec?